www.jbeans.net. The Cruise Maryland Cruise Port is located in Baltimore, Maryland, and is a mid-Atlantic home port for both Carnival and Royal Caribbean. We sailed out of the port in April 2022 on the Carnival Legend and were pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to drive to and navigate the port. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. The Cruise Maryland Terminal Area is located just off Exit 55 on Interstate 95 in Baltimore. As we approach the Cruise Terminal Area, signage pointed us toward the entrance. We were required to show our boarding passes and government-issued photo IDs to a Cruise Maryland employee before we were allowed to proceed into the terminal area. So be sure to have yours ready before you arrive at the terminal area. After passing through the entrance checkpoint, more signage, as well as helpful employees, directed us toward the areas for parking and passenger drop-off. We continued toward parking and were soon directed to stop at a specific luggage cart where we dropped off our bags to be delivered to our stateroom. We highly recommend having your cruise line issued luggage tags attached to your bags before arriving at the terminal area. Having ours attached beforehand made the luggage drop off a seamless part of the arrival process for our family. After dropping off our bags, we entered the line to prepay for parking. The fenced-in outdoor parking lots were located within walking distance of the terminal building and the ship. During our cruise, parking at the terminal area was $15 per day and advance reservations were not required. Payment could only be made with a credit card. Check the Cruise Maryland website we've linked in the description below for current parking information. A portable trailer with restrooms was available in the parking lot area in case any arriving or departing guests had an urgent need. Now a few tips for sailing out of the Cruise Maryland cruise port in Baltimore. Our first tip is to be aware that the Cruise Maryland Terminal encourages guests to not arrive before their scheduled embarkation time. Guests from the prior cruise need to disembark their ship and exit the parking lot to provide room for incoming guests to park. However, if you happen to arrive to the area too early, there are a couple of places we recommend checking out while you wait. The McHenry Row neighborhood is located directly across the interstate from the cruise terminal and is easy to access via an underpass. The area has a grocery store in case you need any last minute items. And the grocery store has a wine shop that's open seven days a week. The area also includes a hotel, restaurants, coffee shops, a small park with a playground, and more. Complimentary parking is available for customers in the nearby parking garage. Fort McHenry National Monument is another place to consider visiting before or after your cruise. The Revolutionary War era fort is known for its role in the War of 1812, when the fort was successfully defended against the British Navy in the Battle of Baltimore. Francis Scott Key saw the attack on the fort and was inspired to write a poem that was later set to music to become the Star Spangled Banner. Kids visiting the fort can receive an official Junior Ranger badge and certificate by completing an activity booklet which can be downloaded and completed at home prior to your visit. Our second tip is to be aware that your ship will pass under two bridges if you're sailing from Baltimore to the Atlantic Ocean. The clearance of both bridges is relatively low, which is why you won't find any mega ships currently sailing from Baltimore. 
Like many cruisers, we enjoy watching as our ship seems to barely make it under a bridge, and our cruise out of Baltimore was no different. The first bridge we passed under was the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The bridge is located about five miles from the cruise terminal, and we passed under it during our ship's sail away party. The second bridge we passed under was the William Preston Lane Jr. Memorial Bay Bridge. The bridge is actually two spans, and we passed under them about an hour and a half after the first bridge. We happened to be eating dinner in the steakhouse at the time and were able to watch through the restaurant's glass ceiling. Our third and final tip is to check out the official Maryland Port Administration website prior to heading to the Cruise Maryland terminal area. The website includes a good amount of helpful information, such as directions, parking rates, embarkation and disembarkation information, and even a listing of hotels with discount codes for cruise passengers.